I am worth the things that I commit myself to doing. I used to say, you know what? I'm not fat, I'm just big. The truth is, I'm fat. Five, six. I didn't always value that I mattered. Marty Goldman, a 55-year-old grandfather and small business owner, is aiming for a complete transformation, body and soul. I heard about Martin from monitoring chatter on the internet, and I found Martin's message on a board, and I thought, this is a guy who really wants this transformation, and I didn't know his whole story yet. One of our sons, Thomas, passed away on January 1st, 2008. He was a veteran from the Iraq War and came home with war-related issues. I immediately knew this guy was in it for real. I think about him all the time. And it's not all bad, but, I, but it's constantly running through my mind. <laughs> Tom's death has inspired Martin. He feels a responsibility to be there for his grandkids and his wife. The day of Tom's funeral, after we buried him, I went and worked out to honor the commitment that I made to myself. But I want to say thank you, Bill, for giving me this opportunity. So uh, I sent a TV crew out to Illinois. I flew into Chicago, and then we drove up here in the snow today to surprise Martin and find out how he was doing. I'm here in a snowy Waukegan, Illinois, to pay a visit to one of our friends, Martin Goldman. Well, I knocked on the door, and I didn't know what to expect. But over comes Martin. Looks one way, doesn't see anything, looks at me. Martin Goldman? And I could yeah. tell that oh he was pretty excited. Oh, <laughs> oh man. Him. Holy cripes, man. I'm here to check up oh, on you, buddy. Oh, my god. Good to see you, man. <laughs> I didn't know if he was going to pick me up and hug me and throw me in the snow or invite me in. How are you doing? Oh, I'm doing great, man. This is unbelievable. What a what? shock. <laughs> I can't believe it. It's like. I just won the lottery or something. One of the most, you know, I, I gotta keep myself from tearing up, but one of the most horrific things that can happen to a person is you get a phone call and they tell you your son's dead, okay? And I mean, it's horrible. I miss him, you know? Tom was not raised to kill. He wasn't raised, you know, to have violence flying around him all the time. Just imagine, you know, standing out there and seeing horrible, horrible things. These kids come back not whole. He was damaged to the soul. The cause of Thomas's death is still under investigation, and Marty is still waiting for an official report. I am totally excited to be able to work out with Bill so I could tweak my whole program. We could just shovel the snow and I'm get a workout, huh? <laughs> All right, Martin. Let's go. Sit over your shoulders. Taking your time. Oh, let's go. Come on, man. How long have you had the beard? I've had the beard since high school. It's never been off. My wife has never seen me without it. I got an idea of a wager for Martin, and that is that if I can take him at basketball, he'll shave his beard when he gets through the 12-week phase on his transformation. There it is. There it is. Do you realize what just happened? That's not fair. <laughs> <laughs> hey, you know what? No, I'm transforming. I like to see what it looks. It's been a long okay. time. Okay, going to go, right? Well, you will go. All right. <laughs> All right. Good job. Okay. Seventy-one pounds lost. As the final part of Marty's transformation, we redid him uh, head to toe today. I've never seen him without a beard in my entire life. Are you ready to I shave that forty-year-old beard? I always honor my bet, so off with the beard. Oh, 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 oh,
Holy crap. That is smile, man. Cool. Very cool. It was really good. <laughs> oh, man. A lot of memories. <laughs> you know, it's just like my whole life just flashed by. And, you know, it's like now I'm looking young, I'm feeling young, and it's good. It's like I did it, man. You know? I brought Marty over here to the Christ Episcopal Church where we had his family and friends waiting to see the new and improved Marty. Marty lost 71 pounds in just a few months, and I've rarely ever seen the type of transformation that he's made in his whole being. I want to introduce the new, the improved, and the totally transformed, my hero, Marty Goldman. <laughs> I'm so proud of my dad. He did something that was like amazing. Hearing the people cheer me on was beyond my wildest dreams. It was fantastic. Whoa! Whoa! When Marty walked in, I was absolutely shocked. I'm totally proud of Marty. The surprises weren't over yet. Shh. Marty had no idea that I flew his grandkids and his daughter-in-law in from Colorado. Oh. Oh. Ladies and gentlemen, Marty's grandkids oh, and Deborah. Yeah. Marty was selected as one of my champions, so he got $10,000 for himself and $10,000 to donate to his favorite charity. So what are you going to do with the $10,000 that you get to give away? I'm going to give it to the church, you know, Christ Episcopal Church. The past 18 years of my life have been spent here being supported, being loved, being cared for. And I couldn't think of anybody else more deserving of it than those who have supported me through, you know, a big, big important part of my life. I've thought of Tom all day. Even during the transformation, I just kept hearing him calling me, you know, Dad, you know? Dad, you're beautiful, man. I love you and I'm proud of you. Tom is buried outside here. Well, that's where I'm giving it to the church. He looked young, he looked healthy, he looked smart, and he was finally ready to come out and be who he is. And that's what I think this was all about for him. You look like yeah. a movie star. I'm I so look. proud of you. Yeah. You look great. He's <laughs> just like he used to be, except better. <laughs> I am extremely proud of myself, and I feel worthy of the attention. I felt worthy of the cheers. I feel young. I feel healthy. I feel successful. It was an unbelievable experience.